Hello there children, welcome back to EYFS at Home with Jude and Lammy and Flossie. We hope you've had a lovely day with our Easter animals theme day and now it's time for bedtime story. Are you all snuggled up? You in your pyjamas? Fantastic. Now I'm going to tell you the story of Chicken Licking. Now I told this story and I used to enjoy this story when I was a little girl. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Here we go. Once upon a time, on a farm, there was a chicken called Chicken Licking. She'd been very busy all day. She'd walk this way and this way. You can do that with your arms if you like. And this way and this way. Oh, goodness me, she said, I'm ever so tired. I think I'll have a rest under this tree. And she stood for a few minutes just under the tree to get a rest. When all of a sudden, something landed on her head. Ouch, she said. What was that? She looked up into the sky. She said, oh my goodness me, it's the sky. The sky is falling down. Oh no, oh no, this is terrible. I must tell everybody that the sky is falling down. And off she ran. She ran and she ran and she ran to see her friend, Hen Len. Hen Len, Hen Len, you'll never guess what's happened. Goodness me, chicken licking, whatever's the matter? It's the sky. What about the sky? said Hen Len. It's falling down, said Chicken Licking. It landed on my head and it hurt. Are you sure the sky is falling down? said Hen Len. It's never done that before. Oh yes, I'm quite sure. It landed on my head. It really hurt. Well, we better tell everybody, said Hen Len. I know, said Chicken Licking. So they ran across the farm. Let's go. They ran and ran and ran until they found Cock Lock, who was strutting around, showing off his lovely feathers. What's the matter with you two? You'll never guess what's happened, said Chicken Licken. Oh, it's terrible, said Hen Len. What is? The sky is falling down. The sky is falling down, are you sure? Said Cock Lock. Oh, yes, said Chicken Licken. It definitely is. It landed on my head and it really hurt. That's ever so strange, said Cock Lock. It's never fallen down before. I know, but it's falling down now. We need to tell everybody, said Hen Len. You're right, said Cock Lock. So Chicken Licken, Hen Len and Cock Lock set off across the farm. Let's go. They ran and they ran and they ran until they came to the duck pond and Duck Luck was swimming around the water. Duck Luck, Duck Luck, you'll never guess what's happened, said Chicken Licken. What has happened? Oh, it's terrible, said Hen Len. Oh, really terrible, said Cock Lock. Whatever's the matter, said Duck Luck, tell me. Well, said Chicken Licken, I'm very sorry to say that... The sky is falling down. The sky? Falling down? Are you sure? Oh yes, I'm quite sure, said Chicken Lick, and it landed on my head. It really hurt. Well, that's very strange, said Duck. Look, it's never done that before. I know, but it's done it today. Oh no, said Hen Len. What must we do? We better tell everybody, said Cock Lock. Wait a second, said Duck Look. Why don't we go back to where you think the sky was falling down and see what's going on. Oh, good idea, said Chicken Licken. Come on. And so Chicken Licken, Hen Len, Cock Lock and Duck Luck all went back to the tree. Off they went. When they arrived there, Duck Luck took a good look around. I see what it is. She looked up into the branches and she saw lots of nuts hanging in the tree. Lots of nuts that were just about ready to fall. And as it happens, that's exactly what happened next. A nut fell out of the tree and landed on the ground in between Chicken Licking and Duck Luck. That's what fell before and hit you on the head. It wasn't the sky, it was a nut. Oh dear, silly me, said Chicken Licking. Fancy me thinking it was the sky when all along it was a nut. I know. But don't worry, said Duck Luck, at least you're okay and at least we know the sky is not falling down. But maybe stay out from under the trees when the nuts are falling. The end. Oh, children, we hope you enjoyed that story. We certainly enjoyed sharing it with you. We'll see you again for another time on EYFS at Home.